So now let's get into the unboxing. This is the iPad Pro. It is a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It's the latest model. I have the one that has 128 gigabytes. I didn't feel like I needed a ton because I had a specific use that I would be using this for. You know, I have my MacBook that I my MacBook that I use most of the time, but I really wanted to use this as my digital planner. Um, so I'm hoping that um, that was a smart choice. I think that that's plenty for me though, actually. And it ran right at, you know, total with tax and everything, $1,079.99. Um, so that's with tax. And then the kind of retail price was $9.99. And I got the one that was in the space gray. So of course we have the lovely rewarding plastic to take off of this and then if you would like the model number the model number i actually have it is the my 2h 2ll slash a there we go i got mine's in the space gray of course oh, it has a nice weight to it i love that it's not too heavy but it has a substantial weight to it let's get the nice Nice camera. Let's flip it around here. Oh, look at that beautiful screen. And that's the space gray. It's a nice, rich, dark gray. Of course, um, I'm going to order a cover to go with it. And I also have a stand that's coming so that it can sit on my desk um, easily, especially since it's going to be um, my digital planner also. Okay, we have our little booklet in here that Apple tends to always put in there. It's all the specs and welcome to your iPad. Okay, nice little pocket there. And I usually just keep all this, whenever I buy a MacBook Pro or iPad, everything, I always keep my box and um, I keep this stuff stored in it. We have, of course, our charger. Let's see, take the plastic off that. Another rewarding peel off there. Okay, keep those two together. And let's put all of this back and let's then open our pen, our pencil rather. I think they're calling it the pencil. And this is the um, Apple Pencil. This is actually their newer model, the second model. Um, second generation rather is what I should appropriate word to say. The first generation, I know from my, my research that they, you know, a lot of people weren't pleased with it. They thought that it was, you know, kind of a larger pen. Um, it didn't, you had to charge it. It was kind of awkward. You charged it into the side of your iPad and it was kind of awkward where this here, it just kind of makes it's magnetic. It, it hooks to your iPad. Let me grab something to open this with my little letter opener here and let's, there we go. And so this is going to be great. Um, and a must have with the planner using my iPad, um, as a digital, you know, for the digital planner function. Designed by Apple in California. It's what it says on the packaging there. Of course, we have more of our pencil instructions, which I would probably pay more attention to this because I've never had um, the pencil. But it does read here that it says magnetically attached iPad Pro to pair, charge, and store. So that's very convenient. And we'll see how that works in a second. Let's get you back in here. Of course, I'll save all this. And then, oh wow, look at this beauty. Oh, this is beautiful. Mike actually has, my husband Mike actually has the um, first generation. He has the first one and there is a difference. I think this is smaller and it feels good. This feels more natural. This feels like a pencil where his, it's a little heavier, a little larger, a little more awkward, but I like this. That's nice, okay. So let's see, they said that it, it's supposed to Auto, oh, it did. It automatically, it's magnetic, so it automatically attaches to the iPad, which that is wonderful. Mm. That is good coffee. Just, I like my coffee sometimes just black, and then sometimes I like it with cream and sugar. I love a cappuccino or a latte, but 
I am not one that just has to have my coffee one kind of way. So today I wanted just plain good black coffee. Okay, so it's taking us through the motions of um, what, you know, when you get an iPad, you're usually going through all of the motions. So let's see. Hello. Swipe up to open. Okay, so now I'm just going through the basic setup. So English, United States, quick start. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near to sign in and set up. Now it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad, so we will skip over that. Continue. Facial ID, iPad can okay, let's do it. Continue. Um, get started. Okay, position my face within the frame. Okay, facial ID setup is complete. Okay, so now it's setting up. I put in all of my Apple ID information and we're good to go there. So now it's saying it's taking a few minutes to set up. So now I wanna show you a little of my planner that I recently purchased from Etsy. I'll put the actual one down in the description box below. And so this is the one that I think that is going to work for me, help me get started with the basics. I also have another one that is specific to I'm managing social media, which again, this is a large reason why I want this is to manage my content. You can also put a cover. So here it has personal goals, financial goals, um, career goals, health goals, key dates so that you can remember. And the great thing is I can add additional pages to customize it to fit me. I really do like this and I'm excited to get started with it. So I'm gonna go get my planner set up and I will see you soon. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have an iPad or thinking about getting an iPad, let me know in the description box below. I would love to know kind of what is your system that you're using. Friends, I thank you for watching and look for it for more. Um, I had fun unboxing my new app, iPad with you, so I'm gonna go get my planner set up and I will see you soon. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have an iPad or thinking about getting an iPad, let me know in the description box below. I would love to know kind of what is your system that you're using at the start of this year to plan? And is it digital? Is it traditional? I would love to hear from you. So friends, I hope you have a beautiful day. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.